What comes to mind when you think of Palestine? The rich culture? The people that live there? Sadly, this is not the image most people have. They think of a long, troubled history that's too complicated to understand. But it's much simpler than that. It's a story of injustice, of indigenous people fighting to survive and not be erased. It's a story of colonialism, modern day colonialism. To understand why, we have to go back to the early 20th century. After the First World War, Great Britain took control of Palestine. Britain also supported Zionism, the political ideology aiming to create a Jewish state in Palestine. But hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were already living there, the vast majority of whom were not Jewish. So the only way to create a Jewish majority state was to repress and remove the local population. Over the following decades, more and more Jewish people from around the world emigrated to Palestine. The Zionist movement began taking control of Palestinian land. This created tensions and fighting between communities. It all came to a head in the late 1940s. Following the Holocaust, Zionist militias stepped up their campaign to establish the State of Israel. Many people were killed. And between 1947 and 1949, over 750,000 Palestinians were forced from their homes. Some left their homes in such a rush that the food on their table was still fresh when the settlers moved in. Fast forward to now. Palestinians are still being forced from their homes, arrested, and killed simply because they're Palestinian. Palestinians can't live freely in their own homeland. They face daily harassment, a network of militarized checkpoints, segregated roads, and a legal system which discriminates against them. Israel claims to be a democracy, but most of the 6.6 million Palestinians living under Israeli control can't vote. And if they can vote, they're still discriminated against. Over 60 Israeli laws marginalize Palestinians and other non-Jewish groups. A new law in 2018 even explicitly outlined that they do not have the same rights in Israel as Jewish Israelis. Other Palestinians live in an open-air prison, Gaza. Most of the 2.1 million people living here are unable to leave. The situation is so bad that UN human rights experts have said that Israel's actions amount to war crimes. A recent UN report said, The transformation of Gaza into a heavily populated, impoverished enclave controlled by Israel through a suffocating sea, land, and air blockade is at the core of the settler colonial goal to ensure demographic supremacy and prevent Palestinian self-determination. People are unable to access essential goods and even life-saving medicine, and over 96% of their fresh water is unsafe to drink. Frequent bombing by Israel destroys houses and has killed and traumatized thousands of Palestinians, including children. Over 7 million Palestinians are living around the world, prevented from returning to their ancestral home. Over 1 million are still living in the refugee camps that their parents and grandparents escaped to in 1948. Generations later, many Palestinians are still holding onto the keys of their homes, still waiting to return. This legal and systemic discrimination based on ethnicity has a name, apartheid. It's a tool that has been used by various settler colonial regimes. And combined with violent occupation, it's essential to maintaining Israel's control over Palestinians. Yet, rather than stopping this oppression, many governments support Israel's actions. Like everyone else, Palestinians want to live in freedom and their freedom is deeply connected to the freedom of all oppressed people. Standing up for Palestinian rights means standing up for the equality of all people. And around the world, growing numbers of ordinary people are standing up for the rights of Palestinians. Join us in standing for freedom, justice, and equality for all. <laughs>